Uh, good morning. My name is Miguel Angel Vergara, and I am here at the Cosmic Institute in Merida, in Casa Kim, just to share about the next uh, important cosmic movement in the Maya plan. This is in relation with the Venus transit in front of the Sun, which is going to happen here in June 5th and 6th. First of all, uh, about the idea of Quetzalcoatl Kukulkan. Quetzalcoatl Kukulkan means the precious serpent, the serpent of light, or the master who is honored in the sky, in the infinite. This name is very important because it's the way to understand the connection between the science and the, the science and the, the part of the spirit who Kukulkan represents. Kukulkan was a teacher in the Maya land who came with the purpose to teach the Mayas about the science, the philosophy, the art, and the religion. About the sacred mathematics, about the astronomy, but especially Kukulkan came to the Maya land to teach the inner spiritual development, the inner peace, the inner harmony, the inner teachings to conduct you to the high self process. So in the next months, we are going to be in this special energy in the return of Kukulkan to the Maya land, who is precisely the meaning of the transit of Venus in front of the sun. The legend said that when Kukulkan was here in the Maya land, especially focused in Chichen Itza and in, May in Mayapan, at the end of his job, of his work, he decided to burn himself and he becomes in the planet Venus star, who means that his spirit is connected with the love and the wisdom, the dance, the mantras, the sacred energies. The love, the infinite love of Kukulkan is connected with the planet Venus when we receive you know, from Venus, the connection with them. In June 1st, Mercury is going to make the conjunction with Venus, who is telling that the messenger of the gods is opening the road that Venus connected with our sun. And in the June, June 4th, then again another conjunction between Mercury and Jupiter will open, you know, more the, the path that the return of Kukulkan will be complete in June 5th and 6th. The base or the center of this is going, of course, to be around Chichen Itza. One of the reasons is because the Kukulkan's pyramid was dedicated to Kukulkan. And the other is that Mayapan, the other area that is connected with the last teachings of Kukulkan. According with this, Kukulkan is in the sky and he is record returning again, to bring us the, the harmony, the balance, and the sacred teachings, how to reconsider our attitude, how to come back to the teachings of Mother Earth, how to connect with the sky, especially in our hearts. That is the moment when we need to come back to our hearts. Remember that Kukulkan, the feathers of Kukulkan represents, you know, the spiritual part. And the body, the physical body as a serpent represents the earth. So Kukulkan represents the heaven and the earth. The feathers, the precious feathers who represents your precious spirits too. So we invite you to come and to join us during these days, you know, in Yucatan. And it's very important that you here because Kukulkan is going to vibrate in a high energy in front of the sun, connecting with the father sun, with Kinicha Hao, Kinishkakmo and Ahau Kin. Father Son is giving us the opportunity to receive Kukulkan as it promised in the legends. In the Vatican legends, they said that Kukulkan is returning again to bring back the hope, the harmony, the love, and the possibility to return to the stars now in this light and enlightenment that is precisely one of the reasons to connect again in this amazing ceremonial centers we have in Yucatan. So thank you for your attention. You know, I will welcome all of you in this time to the return of Venus in the Maya land. In La Quech, a La Quech.